Aloha! How's it, grasshopper? Grüß Gott! Und annyeonghaseyo! Holy Friday, everyone! Today's giggle, garbage in, garbage out, is for the grasshoppers who are apprehensive, uneasy, terrified, nervous, fearful about modifying the power doctor's profile in e file to de-squeeze, decompress 1.33 times the anamorphic aspect ratio videos. So we are going to use a handbrake to de-squeeze, decompress any 1.33 times anamorphic videos. If you haven't um, installed already, Go ahead and go to the handbrake.fr and download the latest version. Save to the uh, download folder and then install. However, me, I'm going to use my old version because not all the versions of the handbrake worked on my um, computer. This time I'm going to use the um, Power Doctor 12. And uh, this is the uh, original squeezed 1.33 times squeeze anamorphic video and here's my new title and produce mpeg4 resolution is uh 38 3840 by 2160 okay now <laughs> now you don't see this uh too often i mean you really don't see this often uh, let's check Go to edit and uh, right click on the uh, timeline on the video then show SBRT here. Okay, as you can see right here the red area is um, re-rendering required. How about the green? It doesn't. Uh, this is a, my title and uh, 3D effects. Alright, go back to produce. Yes, apply and I will take it. And name 16 by 9 4K. And start. Yep, you really don't see this very often. Smart video rendering technology. And done. We go back to edit page. Check the uh, property. Is um, original 1.33 times 16 by 9, 3840 by 2160. We go to the handbrake and import the video. And let's look at preview. As you can see, it is uh, still 1.33 times squeeze. And we'll go to dimensions. As you can see here, when you open the program, uh, it will be gone to the general settings. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the video is not a 4K, but it's okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna add this profile I'm gonna name it test add yes and then what I'm gonna do is reset as you can see when I um, uh, reset it the video is changed to now the 4k so this is the uh, preset so here I'm gonna change to 1606 and this one I've changed to the none and on tick I right, here is what it means auto loose custom they're about the similar off none and strict is the one you need now the some people they increase the width to me that is nothing more than 3840 
times 1.33, and then they use a 5107. To me, um, that is upscaling, not, um, and I do not want to upscale my video. I want to keep it at 4K resolution. Okay, um, let's go ahead and change it back. And filter. What? What she say? Exactly. Next. All right. Mine is an AVC H264. So um, if yours is again um, HEVC H265, then go ahead and change it. I'm going back to mine. ABC. It's a 2997. I like constant frame. And the constant quality, I like less i want uh, real quality 10 i said about 10. however um i am um only thing i'm doing is um change the aspect ratio so i want to keep the um about the same um, video bitrate so this one here should be uh 48 48 megabits per second okay it's 50. all right no problem i just put down as 48 megabits per second 48,000 okay anytime you put the uh, uh, numbers or change if it doesn't work it'll give you an error message okay so just think outside the box and go ahead and try it okay encoder preset fast again is I want close to um placebo which is very very slow encoder tuning yeah, you could choose none um, I want to look like film Okay, fast decode, no. Encoder profile, auto, no, I'll go high. Um, encoder level, auto, new, no, I go to 5.1. And extra op options you want to put down here, see like oh, right there, um, reference to be framed to, that's what you could put it in there, okay? I mean, that that's an example, but you could put it in there. Okay, so um, then I go to uh, where I'm going to um, save it to. So this is what I'm doing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of uh, I'm going to get rid of the uh, produce. I'm going to say 3.39 to 1 4K and save because that's the um, resolution it's going to be. In. Okay, so then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, oops. Okay, hold on. I gotta go to audio. Yep. Uh, here's uh, audio 192. Subtitles. Chapters. No. Now I go back to video. Okay. And then um, I did this over here while I'm here. All right. Now I'm gonna say the test um, a preset. So then you come over here and say update the selected uh, preset of all the settings that I've done. Okay. So now. Double check from the beginning. Okay, it is uh, the um, squeezed, decompressed, format MPEG-4. Okay, dimensions. Okay, it hasn't changed. That's what I wanted. Filter. All right. Video, 48 megabits per second. Very slow. Everything's good. Audio, 192. Subtitle, none. Chapter is none. Okay, it is make sure that the uh, you recheck before you um, uh, start to uh, encode. Everything is good. Begin. And done. Okay, so while I'm at it, I'm going to produce a high definition one. Because my display is uh, full high definition, and uh, w it will not um, display the 4K properly. And then um, I'll go back oop, here, change the bitrate to 18 megabits per second. Recheck all the settings. Good to go. And rename the file. And start. and done and sneaky look at the uh, preview of your produced video 
as you can see it is in correct expo ratio and de squeezed and decompressed okay I will go back here uh, the produce one okay as you can see the thumbnail uh, they are a little bit uh, rectangular now and here's um, media info the initial one that we produced 3840-1606 by 2.40 to 1 well, which is close to uh, 2.39 if it's a 2.40 this uh, height should have been a 1600 but well, that's good enough and here is the um, high definition one I produced same thing so you're not going to have any problems uploading to the YouTube so here is the um, original 16 by 9 okay and then here is the Moondog 1.33x anamorphic so you do have um, when you use the uh, adapter the the height is the same however you gain a whole bunch of width using the uh, 1.33x a moondog adapter this is how de squeeze decompress 1.33 times anamorphic aspect ratio borderless videos using handbrake thanks for watching and we'll see you next time aloha Yep, you really don't see this very often. Smart video rendering technology.